Hello, my name is Peter Rühm, and today I would like to tell you about the innovations in ECG analysis from Custo Diagnostic version 5.9. In this version, we have integrated artificial intelligence into the ECG analysis, and to be more precise, we have developed a neural network. This neural network had the task of finding all normal beats in the ECGs and all premature ventricular contractions. We also carried out a validation study for this neural network. And in this validation study, we were able to show that we can identify the normal beats with a sensitivity of 99.9% and a specificity of 99.7%. For premature ventricular contractions, we have achieved a sensitivity of 99.1% and a specificity of 97.6%. These are detection values that no other algorithm can currently achieve. And the fact that we have created an ECG analysis at an absolutely high level of quality has also resulted in a number of improvements for you in the handling and processing of the Halter ECG. From the technological point of view, we now use all available channels. This means if you have a three-channel ECG, all three channels will be used for the ECG analysis. And if you want to process this ECG further, you will remember from the old versions that you can find this on the analysis page under Options, Parameters, Settings, for example for offset detection, or in the case of tachycardic basic rhythms, for the detection of high heart rates. In addition, it was possible to switch an artifact filter on or off. All these functions are no longer available in Custo Diagnostic version 5.9 or higher because they are no longer needed here, as the ECG analysis supported by the neural network simply does a very good job. There have also been slight changes to the template page. Because we use all three channels, we need a bit of space for the templates and have therefore placed the normal beats, the ventricular beats, the pacemakers and the artifacts in their own line, which you can then click through and check individually. These are actually the main changes. With the integration of this neural network, we have succeeded in taking ECG analysis to a significantly higher level and we will continue to pursue this step of AI integration and the use of AI in ECG analysis. We are very much looking forward to surprising you with further improvements in the next versions. Until then, thank you very much.